it's Monday, you guys, which means it's a grocery haul day. So we did a Walmart grocery pickup, no substitutions, $163, and a great quick haul. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of a Mom, tips for all shades of a mom life. And in today's video, I am back to share with you my weekly grocery haul and meal plan, which I share every Monday here on the channel. And today we did a Walmart's grocery pickup. We had a, a splendid day with no out of stock items, no substitutions and $163. And we actually had a fair amount of non-food items as well as some specialty items that I picked up to share some recipes with you guys. So we probably only would have come in around a hundred bucks if I didn't have to get that extra stuff so not bad for a weekly grocery haul you guys so let me bring you down to the counter I'll share with you what I got at Walmart's grocery pickup and then we'll get into this week's meal plan okay you guys so here is a quick overview of what I got from Walmart's grocery pickup for $163 and there's a fair amount of a non-food stuff in there and some special goodies so I think we did pretty good for 160 bucks so we went ahead and got a bunch of bananas I got a, a pineapple I didn't do my little trick when I was setting it up uh, nope this one's not really ready if you pull the top and it comes out then you know your pineapple is ready so I'll have to let that ripen for just a little bit I got a bag of the Gala Apples for Mason. I got the Constellation Tomatoes for snacking and salads. I picked up some coleslaw. We're gonna have this on top of a really yummy pulled pork recipe. So I'll tell you guys that when we get to the meal plan. I got two cucumbers. I got some green beans. I actually meant to put two bags on here and I only got one. So um, I may have to go back or push a recipe off. I forgot I needed two, but I love the market side fresh green beans. They're almost comparable to the ones from Trader Joe's, which we really, really like those too. So grabbed that. Got a small container of blackberries and a larger container of blueberries just to kind of hold us over in the berry department until we do Sam's next week. I got a five pounds bag of Yukon Gold potatoes. Now, I've mentioned this in a couple of my grocery hauls that every plate sends me Yukon Gold potatoes. They were never really my favorite. I always either got red potatoes or russet potatoes, but I've been falling in love with the Yukon Gold. They're really good potatoes, and I feel like they're not as dirty as a russet and a completely different flavor than a red potato. So I got these for potato wedges, mashed potatoes, that kind of thing as far as side dishes. Got one giant head of fresh broccoli and that's for snacking and lunches. Got two things of the Chobani Gimme's yogurt for the kids and it's got two of the See You Later strawberry and two of the bunch of bouncy grapes. So they'll have this until I can go back and get them some other yogurt. It's so weird that my kids love the pouches and I can't find the pouches really anymore. None of the bulk stores have them and they're only sold in four packs in the regular grocery store for almost $5. So um, I just pick them up in drips and drabs but I like to stock up so this whole yogurt situation situation is always super annoying to me um, but I know my kids love them so I grabbed that and then you guys only one creamer Paul and I are pretty stocked um, for now so I just got one of hubby's great value French vanilla creamer you guys this is such a great deal for the half carton it's like three dollars and change and it lasts my husband two weeks so grab that for him and then got just a container of our orange juice no milk we still have milk from when I went to Costco and that should last me until I go to Sam. So the only milk I picked up was some buttermilk because it's time to make a ranch dressing. So I got that. And then I got some of this rotisserie chicken. I was going to get a like regular chicken to put in the rotisserie, but they're so much cheaper at like the bulk stores like Sam and Costco. And I have my own rotisserie here, but we're out of like the chickens to make our own. And I wanna do pot pies and I like 
real like pulled chicken like this i don't like to use like a chicken breast or something and boil it and shred it i like real hearty meat like pulled right off the chicken so i got this and this should be more than enough to go ahead and make two pot pies so i got that i'm like noticing this out of the corner of my eye that for some reason there's a blue star sticker for my daughter or something stuck to the counter sorry that was like a squirrel moment but it was like glittering and it was catching my eye it was driving me crazy all right now over to some dry goods i got a thing of the crazy richards peanut butter we love this just peanuts and i always mention to you guys that i flip it upside down because this is the kind that needs to be stirred and it self stirs i can't even say that i always stumble over my words it self stirs when you have it on the shelf or in the pantry while you're not using it so i got that and then i needed hazelnut spread for a recipe and the Nutella is like night and day cost between this container and the regular Nutella. Nutella was like $6.50 and this was $2.50 for the exact same size container. So for $4 cheaper, I picked up the Walmart brand. I mean, how much different could it possibly be? So we're going to give this one a try. So I got that and then I got some of the organic extra virgin olive oil nonstick cooking spray. I forgot to get it at Trader Joe's and it'll be a good couple of weeks until I head on back there. So I picked this up for now and then two things of pop tarts i got jacob his it's been a while so he needed some and then i got some for the kiddos this is the nature's path organic frosted berry strawberry ones and then two family size boxes of cereal i needed cereal anyways but I'm sharing a dessert hack recipe with you guys that's like a crunchy no-bake lasagna and you use cereal as where your pasta would be. So it said to use cocoa puffs and while I was looking for the cocoa puffs, I found a brownie crunch, which I don't know if this is new or old. I've never seen it before, but I thought that was really yummy and I don't need the whole box for the recipe so the kids will be able to eat the rest of the cereal and then I got cinnamon toast crunch. So that was required for the recipe as well but then I'm also doing breakfast meal prep today and I'm going to make that crunchy French toast again I mean my kids just absolutely love it so between the recipe that I need it for and doing the crunchy French toast there's probably not going to be a lot of this left but we still have Rice Krispies you guys we're going to have Rice Krispies forever so we still have some Rice Krispies and then they'll have this to munch on until like I said maybe I'll go back when I go back to Sam's I'll get another one of those like mixed up boxes or something but that was it on the cereal almost out of vegetable oil so I went ahead and picked up a container of it and then I got some of the regular stand-in stuff taco shells for taco night and then I also got the little soft tortilla mini bowls um, for taco night as well and then I did get a spiced cake mix. I'm going to make a pumpkin cobbler. That's another one of the booze hacks. And I actually do my own like crock pot pumpkin kind of recipe with a spice cake mix. So I'm wondering if their simple cobbler recipe is going to taste similar because they're recipe is way easier than mine so i'm curious to give that a try i have some pumpkin in my pantry that's going to go good with that and then got some freezer items here a couple of meals for jake so i got the main street chicken in the fettuccine alfredo this is 97 cents so when i see these i just grab these for him it's a really good quick lunch and then I got him one of the Mega Bowls. He absolutely loves this country fried chicken, which is just a replica of the KFC chicken bowls, which is super yummy for him. So I picked that up for him. And then he also loves the Marie Collender's fried chicken buffalo style mac and cheese bowl. So he's going to be super excited to see this. He hasn't had this in a while. So grab that for him. And then I grabbed some of these egg rolls. I think I'm going to make one package for football Sunday and cut it up into pieces. And then I think I'm going to take another package and save it for a night that we do, you know, some kind of Chinese takeout night. We do that at least once a month. And I always look for a good egg roll when we do that. 
Uh, picked up some mozzarella sticks for a football. This is a small box, but it was only $1.97. So it's great value, we'll see, but I'm usually pretty impressed with the great value items. And for under two bucks for mozzarella sticks, just to put something else out for football, I grabbed it. And then that's why I grabbed some of these things. So I mentioned to you guys all the time that we do appetizers every Sunday for a football season. And I was kind of running out of appetizery things. Sometimes I just make things off the cuff. Like last week, I took our rotisserie chicken and I covered, you know, mixed, pulled the whole thing, mixed it with barbecue sauce, and put it on King's Hawaiian rolls with melted provolone. And we had these little barbecue sliders. So that was just kind of like, hmm, what can I make for appetizers and going in to the freezer? But just some pre packaged, pre made frozen appetizers to just pull out with no thought. Those we didn't have. And Hubby absolutely loves White Castle burgers. There are no White Castles anywhere. Comment down below and let me know if you live in a place that has a White Castle. So on Long Island, they have a White Castle. We did not have one in South Carolina and there's none here in Texas. So whenever we go to Long Island, Daryl and I make it a point to go to White Castle because he absolutely loves belly bombers. That's like just his thing. He loves them. And so whenever I see like a box of these, I just go ahead and pick it up. And since I was looking in the appetizer section and I saw these, I was like, all right, let me spoil him. I'll grab these. Who would imagine that getting my husband frozen White Castle burgers would be spoiling him, but he just loves it. And so I know he's gonna be excited to see those and we'll probably just make half the box and then we can save it for another time when we're doing appetizers. And then, all right, you guys, I just mentioned I'm doing breakfast meal prep. So you know that I don't buy frozen waffles like this, but I was looking on my Pinterest board. If you guys are not following me, go ahead and follow me on Pinterest. I have loads of boards with tons of ideas. And I was looking under my appetizer. I have an appetizer board and then a football appetizer board. And I was looking for some different spontaneous ideas that we can do for a football Sunday. And I saw chicken and waffles. Now, complete side note, if you guys saw my Sam's haul, I got the little chicken bites. They were the members mark. And I heard from Madison, since she works for Chick-fil-A, that these were supposed to be a replica of the chicken from Chick-fil-A. And so I couldn't wait to make them. And you guys, they were so amazing. Is it even possible that it could have been better than Chick-fil-A? I don't know, maybe I was just craving it and it was so good, but I literally dreamt about it. We did KFC chicken bowls and I used the chicken to make the KFC chicken bowls and they were it was to die for, and I didn't use the whole bag for dinner. I saved some for a lunch. Forget it. We're not doing it for a lunch. I'm going to take these. They're huge chicken pieces, too, like a nice size chunk of chicken, and they just... Like I said, dare I even say it tastes better than Chick-fil-A. And so I'm gonna do chicken and waffles. And I saw these little mini cinnamon toast ones. So they actually look like a slice of bread. So I thought that would be so cute to just put one of these little chicken nuggets between these two waffles and make, you know, put a toothpick in it or something and make little chicken and waffles appetizers. Like that just sounds so good to me and I'm super excited. So it's gonna be a yummy football Sunday, like little burgers, little chicken and waffles, some mozzarella sticks. We still have some little personal pan pizzas. So it's gonna be a really, really yummy Sunday. And then I just got just a few more frozen things, some frozen cut green beans and some frozen peas. Those are for the pot pies, some seasoned French fries just to have on the side of one of our dinners. And then I went ahead and got these really pretty ciabatta rolls to have those apple cider pulled pork sandwiches. So again, I'm going to talk about that with you guys in just a minute when we do the meal plan. So that was it for food. And then down here is just a few non-food items. So of course, I needed some laundry detergent. So if I get laundry detergent, you guys know it has to be my Priscilla Pro Clean in the Intense Fresh and the Intense Fresh only. And it smells amazing. So I picked that up and then I needed some things for cleaning the bathrooms. I still could not get a brand new kit. They just don't have it. They have the refills, but you cannot get a kit with the handle. So I'm going to be on the lookout for that, but at least on the app, it's not offered. So 
before doing a pickup, I can never find it. So I'll be looking for a new handle so we can stop bringing the handle from upstairs and downstairs. And it's the same thing in the new house. There's a bathroom downstairs and then two upstairs. So it's gonna be the same concept of going back and forth. So we're gonna need a new handle, but for now, I just got the citrus scented scrubbing bubbles, fresh brush flushable refills. And it's just the little guys that go in the handle to clean the inside of the toilet. And then I absolutely love these too. Like I rant and rave about them when I do my empties, but this is the fresh gel that just kind of gets stamped on the inside of your toilet. And it smells super, super amazing. And I only have one. And again, I'm trying to like keep stuff upstairs and downstairs so we don't have to keep bringing buckets back and forth so that'll go downstairs and we already have a set upstairs i got a 12 pack of our favorite toilet paper and that is the traditional scots and then two things of a gatorade so i think i stocked this up like a month ago and then we've been running out of each color periodically so it's pretty good that it's been working out that way because then i can just get a couple each time i go to walmart since i only go every other week and that'll be really good for just kind of replacing as we go so i got an eight pack of the lemon lime for daryl and then a 12 pack of the smaller blue ones for my little kids so that is it you guys that's it for this time's a grocery haul now let's get into the meal plan okay you guys so here is the meal plan for monday october the 12th through sunday october the 18th and like i said i have a really yummy meal plan planned so for today we're gonna do pineapple beef skewer so i bought that really yummy stew meat from Costco and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on some skewers with that fresh pineapple and I have some red onion and some of those we have some peppers on hand and then I have some of the cherry tomatoes so those are gonna be really good basing in a little bit of teriyaki sauce and put on the grill and I'll make coconut rice and that just sounds really really yummy for like an outdoor barbecue kind of meal and then Tuesday of course we're gonna do taco Tuesdays I showed you guys the stand and stuffed shells and then this small little sauce soft tortillas and then we still have some nacho chips so we'll just do a little taco and nacho kind of night for wednesday we're going to do that apple cider pulled pork and i actually got this idea from lisa over at pookie's view i'll link her video down below in the description box but it just sounded so so good and apple cider just screams this time of year and i still have half of a thing of apple cider in the fridge i don't know if you guys remember but a couple of weeks ago i ordered a half gallon and they didn't have it and they subbed me a gallon so i have this you know big container of apple cider that we've been working through so what better way to use it than to do pulled pork like i am just so excited so we'll use those ciabatta rolls and the fresh coleslaw and french fries and i think i have pork and beans and it'll be like a really yummy barbecue pulled pork you know barbecue sauce kind of night that sounds so good to me um, on Thursday we're gonna do a Pinterest recipe for country fried chicken it just sounds so good we love our fried chicken here any kind of you know nice good chicken cutlet or a fried chicken sandwich or regular fried chicken like we just dig that that's our thing all of us love that and so this is the kind that you do like the sawmill pepper gravy if you were to go to Cracker Barrel they serve that the white gravy over the country fried chicken so that sounds amazing and anytime you make mashed potatoes you need uh, anytime you make something with gravy rather you need mashed potatoes and corn so I put that on the menu for that and then on Friday we're doing a instapot creamy zini so this is also a Pinterest recipe is super super easy and we'll do that with salad and garlic bread and I put these little stickers here that says today is the day because that is four years for me on YouTube so four years almost 21,000 friends and I am super proud of the accomplishment that I have made and I am more blessed for all the friends and the amazing people that I have met along this journey so that's a shout out to all of you guys that have been my ride or dies that have been with me you know since the very beginning and I appreciate you guys you know honestly really more than you know so that is the big day for me and that is Friday and then on Saturday 
is pot pie day which i know my husband is going to go a bonkers over because that is one of his favorite meals so he'll love the pot pies and we'll just do that with the leftover salad and then of course as I said, every Sunday is a football apps. So that is it, you guys, for this week's grocery haul and meal plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If we do anything special or this changes, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Or if you're not following me on Instagram, hop over and follow me there so you guys can see me more in live time. But the next day is my birthday. So the very next Monday, Monday the 19th, is my birthday. And then Wednesday the 21st is my anniversary. So I'm not really sure yet. My husband says he has some plans. So I don't know what's up his sleeve. But if we change anything or if we do anything, I'll make sure to update you guys and share with you what we got going on over here because I know you guys always care to know. All right, you guys, subscribe if you are new. I love you guys all so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.